This week on No Limits Fishing. Fishing is brought to you by 
Since 1998, Yellowfin has been dedicated to an uncompromising mission. Nice, nice! To provide fishing families with boats designed to be the ultimate in performance, efficiency, quality, and style, with the driest, most stable ride on the water, legendary attention to detail, and unsurpassed fishability. Whoa! The ultimate goal at Yellowfin is to provide families with the freedom to create a lifetime of great memories, one day at a time. Formerly Marine Service Center, the new Sportsman's Choice Marine located on Highway 9 in Long, South Carolina has been serving your boating and outdoor needs for 20 years. Come visit our new showroom and check out brands such as Yamaha, Carolina Skiff, Contender, Triton, and many more that are on display daily. Whether you're looking for a new toy on the water or need service, the staff at Sportsman's Choice looks forward to the opportunity to earn your business. Established as a small millwork company in 1924 that made doors and window sashes, Guy C. Lee Building Materials has grown to include seven locations across eastern North Carolina and South Carolina. With a focus on quality marine and general construction products from name brand manufacturers and top of the line customer service, Guy C. Lee is the go-to place for all your construction needs. Visit fellow fisherman Brian Strickland and his team at the local Guy C. Lee in Shalot. This guy delivers. At Seato, you don't just get help, you get a fleet of help. More boats and more experienced captains mean Seato members receive help faster. Membership is inexpensive at only 49 cents per day. And that's for complete coverage, from fuel drops to jump starts to a timely tow home. It's 24-7 peace of mind on the water. Become a Seato member today for just $179 a year. And know the country's premier on-water assistance fleet is standing by. Seato. Get back to nature at the area's unique, one-of-a-kind outdoor adventure center, the Shalot River Swamp Park, featuring 10 exciting zip lines, a 53-obstacle aerial adventure park, and a serene eco-boat tour through the swamp. Fun for all ages. Get out and play at the Shalot River Swamp Park, located at 5550 Watts Road, Ocean Isle Beach. Visit us online at www.zipandplay.com. Now, back to more No Limits Fishing. Alright. Well, we've been fishing these artificial lures for a couple of hours. And we aren't doing anything. We've been around a lot of bait, been marking good, so we're going to change our technique. We're going to try the traditional, like Islander style lures like this, and then we'll rig a ballyhoo on the back of it. Slow our speed down a little bit. Try that way for a little bit, see if we can do anything. All we can do. That's how I get my value ready. I go ahead and chew on for a little while. Captain Brant's Wahoo Bombs. 
16 ounce. Uh, this is just an inline sinker. We're going to thread it straight onto a line here. And then we're actually going to take our rig and it fit straight underneath the sinker. And like Brant said, the each finish needs pretty heavy drag and that crimp is going to be the best connection you can use uh, to take a little more time and of course tying the rig on but all in all this is what you're going to want to use just crimp it on there take a little bit of extra time use that better connection make it work simply going to feed out uh, maybe 30 feet and we'll hold on to that sinker as that line feeds out. And all this is going to do is help us get that face down in the water column a little bit. Sometimes there's wahoo will be down and they don't want to come up. So we'll just send our bait to them. And we're going to take that rubber band do a little half pinch right here below the sinker, pull it tight, and we're just going to wrap it above the sinker like that, and keep it most of the part to slide. We're just going to let it on back. Pretty much all there is to that.
taking this into Charleston? <laughs> it might have to go. <laughs> Give me the number just in case she's done. Hey, Austin is the way to take it. $100. <laughs> right, give me that and get you take a picture. Ready? Fishing is brought to you by... Since 1998, Yellowfin has been dedicated to an uncompromising mission. Nice, nice! To provide fishing families with boats designed to be the ultimate in performance, efficiency, quality, and style, with the driest, most stable ride on the water, legendary attention to detail, and unsurpassed fishability. Whoa! The ultimate goal at Yellowfin is to provide families with the freedom to create a lifetime of great memories one day at a time. Formerly Marine Service Center, the new Sportsman's Choice Marine located on Highway 9 in Long, South Carolina has been serving your boating and outdoor needs for 20 years. Come visit our new showroom and check out brands such as Yamaha, Carolina Skiff, Contender, Triton, and many more that are on display daily. Whether you're looking for a new toy on the water or need service, the staff at Sportsman's Choice looks forward to the opportunity to earn your business. Established as a small millwork company in 1924 that made doors and window sashes, Guy C. Lee Building Materials has grown to include seven locations across eastern North Carolina and South Carolina. With a focus on quality marine and general construction products from name brand manufacturers and top of the line customer service, Guy C. Lee is the go-to place for all your construction needs. Visit fellow fisherman Brian Strickland and his team at the local Guy C. Lee in Shalot. This guy delivers. The OIFC Wing & Fish Company is located in downtown Shalot, just 10 minutes from Ocean Isle and Holden Beach. As back-to-back -back winners of Best of Brunswick, we proudly serve fresh fish from the fleet of boats at the Ocean Isle Fishing Center, 25 flavors of wings, and 20-plus beers on draft. Come join us for daily specials on Tuesday night for trivia, Wing Wednesday, and live entertainment on Friday. The new Ocean Isle Fish Company restaurant and GMAC Tiki Bar is open air, on the water dining at its finest. 
Come and be part of the show as fishing boats arrive to the dock daily, offloading their catch, and watch as the freshest fish on the coast moves from boat to kitchen to your plate. The Ocean Isle Fish Company restaurant, located at the base of the Ocean Isle Beach Bridge. The Ocean Isle Fish Company, where our fish are always fresh. Now, back to more No Limits Fishing. That'll help us in the tournament. We that's our day one fish. It's a two fish aggregate. Oh, buddy. Quality fish. Quality fish. And we worked hard for that fish. 4:30. 4:30. So our fish all started biting at three o'clock. We caught that our third or fourth. I think that's our third. That's our fourth wahoo all since three o'clock. So we stuck with it. Congratulations, team. Good work. Let's get that guy on ice. All right, we're wrapping up our show. 
we've been in a fishing tournament. We started off talking about being in the South Carolina Wahoo Series. This is Team Yellowfin only and Team OIFC combined effort here. Kelly, Austin, Scott, myself, Captain Brant, and uh, <clears throat> the whole objective in a fishing tournament is to catch a fish big enough that you just stop fishing and go home. And although it took us until 4.30 and we started at about 6.30, we finally caught the one that we can put him in the bag and go home and quit fishing. So this is a two fish aggregate tournament, one, two days fishing, one fish each day. We have a good foundation fish to start. So we've got to catch another one like that. But that was a fish of a lifetime really. Scott did a really good job winding in that fish. You saw. That Wahoo fought a little bit different. A lot of them, I mean, he ran hard at the start, but we had a lot of drag on him. Kept him from going absolutely crazy, but he put a lot of heat on Scott right here at the boat. And that was a very tense time when that fish could have easily gotten away. But Austin did a good job gaffing him. And Kelly, what were you doing? Like, like backup support? Oh yeah, was <laughs> moral support. Moral support, I mean, that's an important position too, moral support. I was in the same position, pointing fingers and, and giving support. But anyway, man, I tell you, we, we fished our rear ends off today. They were definitely lows. I, there was a, a distinct conversation that Scott and I had about me retiring from fishing and just quitting, thinking about what else I might do. Scott, you were... I was ready to go home. Yeah, Scott, Scott about 1.30, Scott, Scott was like, ah, I think we should just go on. And I guess that's where the fisherman did come out in me. I, I'm stubborn as heck. And I said, you know what? No, nope, we got to stay. We have to stay. If we're going to go down, we're going to go down in flames. And lo and behold, we got lucky. So first through our first mate, Austin, great job. I think Scott actually baited that particular hook. That was our long line, uh, black and black and blue Islander on the long shotgun. Yep. And, um, but man, we, we've caught four Wahoo in the past three hours, along with Barracudas and Mahi and King Mackerel. So, um, you know, I never really know, when, you know, because we've been covering ground and either we got to where the fish were or the fish started biting. I don't know, the water is much bluer here than it was where we started. It was greener and it has warmed up about a half a degree. But anyway, maybe, hopefully there'll be a part two of this No Limits Wahoo adventure and hopefully it will be as prosperous as this and we might find ourselves in the winter circle so good job guys yeah.